Hey, what's up? I'm Marshall B. And in this video, I want to talk about the specific signs that you should avoid a boy. If a person that you are dating displays any of the following qualities, you should avoid them forever. If a person that you are interested in dating displays any of the following qualities, you should avoid them forever. Sign number one. He complains about how you look, what you wear, your makeup that day. How you look has nothing to do with anyone but yourself. The way you do your face, the way you style your hair has nothing to do with some self-righteous one who has too many opinions and you are way too good for. Sign number two, he doesn't text you back. Somehow when you complain about guys not texting back, they turn you into this needy monster. FYI, you are not in any way needy for requesting that someone spend a minute of their day to text you back. Sign number three, he manipulatively makes you feel like some batshit crazy girlfriend at any point that he can. No, fuck that. Avoid him like the plague. Sign number four. He pressures you into things. Flash tries to pressure you into things. Boys that pressure girls into things are the scum of the earth. Sign number five. You pay for him. Always. It's totally cool to pay for your boyfriend, partner, person occasionally, but if you are constantly paying for a guy and he is constantly forgetting to pay you back, you need to get out. Sign number six. He doesn't seem to care about most of the things that you talk about. Speaking from experience, it is not normal for a guy to make you feel like literally the most uninteresting blob every time that you talk about yourself. You are not an uninteresting blob. He is a loser and you deserve better. Sign number seven. He calls himself a menemist oh God. and strongly believes that there is no need for feminism now that women can vote and everything. I mean, Stay away from that. Sign number nine. Most of the time you feel like you're just putting in like so much effort to gain his approval. If a guy is right for you, you don't need to be working for his approval. It's not, it's not how it works. That's not how a healthy relationship is. Other than that, I would advise staying away from boys who wear fedoras, boys who take too many shirtless selfies, although power to the selfie, guys who wear anything but pro-choice, and guys who like Tony Abbott, because common sense. No, but in all seriousness, it's really easy to get into really shitty relationships when you're younger, especially when you're just getting into relationships and you don't know what a healthy relationship is. You deserve a person that treats you like a freaking queen. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on social media if you want to and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon.